During the last few days of his corrupt presidency, Donald Trump has placed Cuba once again on a list of terrorist nations. Cuba, a country that has shown more international solidarity than most, sending teachers, medical personnel, and first responders to the far corner of the globe. Cuba, that has never attacked the United States and yet has suffered hundreds of US attacks since the victory of its 1959 revolution. Cuba, a tiny island 90 miles south of the mighty US war machine. Trump's act shouldn't surprise us. Throughout his bogus presidency, he has consistently punished the poor, maligned women, people of color and the LGBTQT community, tortured immigrants and separated immigrant children from their parents here at home. On the international stage, he has nurtured friendships with dictators and shunned democratic allies. His last gasp attack on Cuba is no surprise, but we, those who recognize Cuba's right to independence and reject these 60 years of villainy by the United States must raise our voices once again to denounce this latest act of infamy. A week from now, we will have a new administration. I fervently hope it will treat Cuba with the respect that country deserves and begin to develop mutually a beneficial relationship.